Hi, Jonathan Pickup. Welcome to my podcast. We're going to look at aligning windows and doors. This is a door down here, and these ones are windows. And I wanted to cover how we align them and whether we use rough opening, unit size, or sash opening to define our windows and doors and how we make those align up. But just before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell button to make sure you get notified whenever I post a new movie. So let's have a look. Down the bottom here we have a door and this door is set to use leaf size. So this will determine the size of the door excluding the size of the jam. So it doesn't include this bit just in here or this bit up there either. So that's the leaf size. It's the size of the sliding components of that door. Let's just zoom out so we can see everything. This window we just select just the one window. This window is using rough opening size. Rough opening size is the size of the entire frame plus anything that you've added. Let me just go through the settings for that. If we go to the settings and have a look, when we come to look at the jam and the sash, we come down here and there is a shim gap. The rough opening includes the shim gap. So if I make the shim gap one inch, we should see that there it is there. I've now got the, the rough opening is there. There's my shim gap there. And then there's the size of my window component. Let's go back to my settings and I'll change my shim gap back to zero. That's how I tend to have it. So that when I size my window and when I give the contractor a hole, they're both the same. This top window is using unit size. So let's have a look at that unit size. So I'm going to go back to my settings. I'm going to change my shim gap back to, where's it gone? Jam and sash. Let's put my shim gap in at one inch again. And you'll notice that this time the shim gap is not included in my rough opening size. So there's the size of my unit plus the shim gap. So I end up with a larger opening here than I do in this one. So I'm just going to put all those back together again. So they're all the same. So the challenge I had was that I wanted all of these windows to line up. Let's go back to an orthogonal view and see all of them. There we are. So I really wanted all of these to line up, but they're all using slightly different settings. There we are. I think we can see it here. They're using slightly different settings. So this top window here, this is using a unit size of nine feet. The bottom one is using a unit size or a leaf size of nine feet. What I really need to do to make these all line up is I need to add one and a half inches plus 1.5. Now that one lines up. Now the top one, I also need to add to this one as well, plus 1.5 inches. So now they all line up. You can see that their jams are all lining up. So that was quite an important thing to get used to the idea that how does the leaf size relate to the hole size and the rough opening size. Finally, why don't we just move one of these windows and we'll see how we can get these to line up again. So those now don't line up. You can see I've got them out of alignment. So let's go back to our floor plan and I'm going to select this one window. To line up windows, I often use the set position, which activates this tool here, the move by points tool. I click there. That's the start of the window I want to align with. That's the edge of my window. Set the distance to zero and they should all line up. Let's have a look. There they are. So now they all line up. So that's how I line those up. Don't forget to subscribe to my website, archoncad.com. It's a fantastic website full of really useful resources. I know you have to pay, but you'll get a lot of benefits from subscribing.